Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, is urging an increased intake of students into the country's medical schools. Dr. Sam Jonah says the situation where students who qualify but fail to gain admission into the university and are forced to continue their training abroad create a huge deficit in healthcare delivery in the country. Ghana has a rather high doctor-to-patient ratio despite about three medical schools straddling the country. 46 students made up of 22 males and 24 females graduated with doctorate degrees. Dr. Asari Go was the overall best student. The Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Dr. Sam Juna, underscored the need to train more doctors for the country. He said Cuba, with a population of 11.2 million people, has 25 medical schools which produces 11,000 doctors annually. This, according to Dr. Juna, has increased Cuba's life expectancy to 79%, whilst Ghana's percentage is 60%. Dr. Juna therefore called for the involvement of private sector training of medical professionals for the country since government alone cannot train the medical professionals. While we are fully aware of the current financial, fiscal and monetary challenges facing the country, we still maintain that the education of our future leaders is and must be largely a public good because when it is left to operate in the arena of market forces alone, many more will be deprived of this key ingredient for personal and national development. Minister for Education, Professor Jinnana Opukwajiman, said the objectives of the COPES program were in line with the government's desire to bring quality health care to the remote parts of the country. I believe that our students will be able to live with the community, felt the community, being with the community, will be the, the doctors we are all looking for in this country. The Vice-Chancellor of UCC, Professor Dongmune Dabre Kupole, noted that UCC School of Medical Sciences will soon begin academic and professional programs for the award of degrees, diplomas and certificates through regular, short and sandwiched courses in 10 areas. Some of the areas include medical diagnostic imaging, midwifery, physiotherapy and clinical nutrition, among others. Professor Kupole said, the curriculum of the medical school continues to expose students to community field work, which gives them an opportunity to serve the rural communities. He congratulated the graduates and urged them to put what they have learned to good use.